ministries, departments, and agencies have made provisions to carry over to 2018 capital projects that are not likely to be fully funded by the end of the year 2017 to ensure project continuity. Regrettably, the late passage of the 2017 budget has significantly constrained budget implementation. As you are aware, the 1999 Constitution authorized necessary federal government expenditure period to the 12th of June 2017, when, 20, when the 2017 Appropriation Act was signed into law. This year, we have worked very hard to achieve an idea submission of the medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper in the 2018 appropriation bill. Our efforts were to avail the National Assembly with sufficient time to perform its important duty of passing the appropriation bill into the hope of May by the 1st of January 2018. It is in this spirit that I solicit the cooperation <laughs> It is in this spirit that I solicit the cooperation of the legislature in our efforts to return to a more predictable budget cycle that runs from January to December. Welcome back, everyone. President Muhammadu Buhari said 2018 is expected to be a year of better outcomes. The 2018 budget is tagged the budget of consolidation, which means it is to consolidate on the performance of the previous budget, the budget of change and the budget of growth. Well, where do we go from here? To gentlemen who knows uh, some of these issues are uh, giving us the benefit of uh, their knowledge and insight. Senator Ita Enang is uh, assistant to the president on National Assembly matters. Uh, these relationships will matter in the coming days. Mr. Bismarck Rwani, the economist and the friend uh, of the house here, yeah, giving us a sense of the figures. Let's dig deeper into this matter because relationships in all of these issues matter. If I come to you now, Senator Ita Enang. The speaker, Yakubu Dugara, is concerned about uh, the passage and the timeline that is involved. If you look at what we have in the past, I remember in the, 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 the government of uh, Gula Jonathan, twice uh, the, the minister, uh, the coordinating minister of uh, finance there and economy, uh, Okonja Wala, presented the budget uh, twice in uh, October, and it did not even meet of the January calendar. How do you think that this calendar that uh, the government of Buhari wants to regularize can be met with presenting the budget in November? You see, in economic planning, you have to be bold. You have to be prepared to take risk. You have to be prepared to do what people think that are not possible to be done. And of course, what, in all this, you also need good relationship. We have, um, we have very good relationship, and, and um, given what each of the parties had said today, the relationship is going to be a lot, lot, lot better, smoother, and more improved. With this improved, smoother relationship, and don't forget, this budget is not just presented today. This is a formal, a formal presentation. The parameters, the issues behind it, the figure, the areas of concentration, the uh, other matters were already discussed with the leadership, with the members through their committees, and we had gotten the buy-in of the legislators themselves. And so we are confident that they themselves also are uh, at one with the executive that this budget will be passed in December for assent sometimes in January. And of course, if you remember that on the 12th of June, when His Excellency, the Emeritus Acting President, the current Vice President, as he, now, as he is, um, 
assented to the budget. It was stated in the statement of assent that the Senate President, the Speaker, the, Senate, the Acting President then, and all of us were present. And it was stated as an agreement that we will work towards the passage of the 2018 budget in December 2017 to return the country to a predictable year, economic year. And so what the executive has done is to present the budget within time. Remember, we had undertaken that we will present the budget in October. We were on a part ready as executive to present the budget in October, but we needed to make further consultations, have agreement, look at the convenience of the legislator and the legislators themselves. So all the things that ought to be done, we have done on our part, and we are very confident. Again, the legislators are right to express concern because they have what they need to have what to show at the level of implementation of the budget in their respective constituencies. It is accepted by us in the executive that Mr. President, the ministers, will definitely not have all the time to go explaining what Mr. President has done. It is these senators and it is this honorable distinguished senators and honorable members that will take the message of President Buhari and the APC administration down to the res respective constituencies and senatorial districts that this is what has been done through the direct funding of the direct uh, um, executive proposed budget and the zonal intervention, intervention uh, project. And this will show what we have done. So their concerns are acceptable to us, and we are at one with them. So all right. we uh, will do everything uh, to smoothen all ages. We have okay. already smoothened it. All right. because let, let me, one edge that needs to be smoothened is uh, the issue of the implementation of the 2017 budget. And let me go to Mr. Bismarck Rwani. 